Okay, uh, sorry, I, I guess my mic was mute. Uh, you can hear me now, right? Okay, okay sorry. Again. So we're gonna see a waved up. I'm gonna show you the work uh, code walkthrough. How is connected with the smartphone to back end? How is it that I switch from the smartphone on the front end? And how you can you use it to your advantage to create your application? Mm, basically, this application, what it does is it lets you uh, add an art that you draw and it will give you ownership. Uh, and you can sell your art. Someone can just choose your art and try, buy it based on the price you put it. And the ownership will be transferred from you to the hundred percent. This is a simple uh, job application on the Ethereum blockchain. So, uh, before we just let's see the contract. I have installed the hardware framework. So I'm gonna assume you know how to do that based on the yesterday's tutorial and the link shared you. So the hard drive, uh, when you create a hard drive, it will give you this contract folder, this script folder, and this hard drive config file file. I also installed my React application on the same hard drive uh, folder. That's why you see this uh, React component file, the uh, file so you can usually install React. So it's just uh, because it's a co I combine both the hard drive file and the React file like this. That's why it looks like this one. And it doesn't matter. So let's start from the contract. So the contract use ERC721 uh, token, the one I showed you last uh, yesterday. So specifically for this contract, I have used uh, AR721 UI storage. It's another extension of the AR721 token. Well, this one has more functionalities on the contract than the AR721 GitHub file uh, codes I showed you last uh, yesterday. So I'm just uh, put added to this one because I want to fetch my metadata, metadata URL that I have on each uh, image or on each paint have the description, the image description, the painter name and everything like that. I put that on the IPS Canada folder as a metadata and I'm fetching that using the token URI functionality of its AR721, uh, which you find that functionality under this contract of AR721 extension. Uh, you can visit the GitHub, which you'll find any functionalities like before. So basically what it does is it just pays a price for the contract owner. So every time uh, in this sale, half the percent will go to the owner of the art and half will go to the contract owners owners so uh, there's a listing price that will be set by the admin here i have used struct event the all functionals i have used i uh, have showed you on the morning the mapping the constructor this is to give uh, the same thing everything almost every functionality is but basically the main functionality you can create you can mint uh, a new art under your ownership you put this token URI, this URI comes from, from Pianata. All the files are put on my Pianata. I'm just gonna put, fetch the URI where my data is and I'm gonna put it on the blockchain so that uh, I can decrease a gas fee. Uh, because if I, if I store every data on my blockchain, it likely will cause more money. So to avoid that, I'm just gonna paste the URI of my Pianata where my image, description of the image, everything that information is found. And so basically this token URI will be put here and you could create any token for the particular uh, metadata where you will confirm your ownership. And uh, this is just to list the tokens that you have under your name. Uh, you can fetch your token ID, your token for that uh, or the data of for that image using your token ID for the, the first image that will be created will have a token ID of one, the second will have two, three, it will continue like this. So if I put number one and try to create a list, uh, I will get the NFT with that particular unique number every data 
and I thought it's just this is normal fetching the uh, putting uh, listing the token that I own. Uh, this functionality is just looking through all the NFTs I own. If I have more than three, four, five ends, uh, it will loop through and fetch my data uh, to display on the front end. Uh, this is specifically for my NFTs. This is for the entire collection of us, every painter's uh, image. And this one is for the for me, for the person who has specifically just to show what they own only on the system. And this one is where we execute the sale. So if someone purchases my uh, art that I put it on the gallery, uh, this is a process it moves. This is the transfer function. That's one in the R17 one token. Will it, uh, will it uh, transfer the ownership from the contract to the new buyer? with the token ID. So the token ID ownership would be the new owner. Uh, owner. This, like I told this one, if you remember, uh, on the morning addresses will indicate the owner is uh, the address memory, the address, uh, the address of the contract. So I have put every time a new owner, uh, every time a new one person uh, upload an image to be sold, uh, the ownership first goes to the contract and the contract will sell that and transfers uh, that particular it's just how you set it up i just choose the contract to have the ownership first then it will transfer it to another owner and you can just uh, choose not to do this also and choose to make it uh, admin uh, this is not important but just how you decide to create your code is your choice uh, and every time a, a transfer is made between seller and buyer uh, the contract will also get money as a commission, and the seller will get the rest of the money as the owner of the painting. Okay. So let's assume this is a contract, and the first thing you need to do is when you are on any of your framework, make sure you compile it. If you compile using this code for hard hats. There is nothing to compile. If there is error, it will be it will throw that error, and you have to make sure that error is fixed and compile it again. The same process like on the remix, and finally, just uh, well, before the deployment, uh, there is configurations I have to show you here on the script file and the deployed which is you have to put the contract name here. You can have many contracts, but on the deploy, you have to configure which contract to you want to deploy here. So. If you see it on this particular uh, deploy um, configuration, I have called the contract that I want to deploy in this NFT marketplace. This is the name of the contract on my SOLDP uh, contract here, this one. The name of the contract. So make sure to call that here using, uh, for, uh, in, again, I have forgot my name. Uh, make sure. NPM because we should also to install this particular uh, inter package on your React when you put it back in. So you will uh, call it like this, the contract that you want, you will put the git signer, the git balance uh, to sign it with your private key to deploy the particular contract you put it here, and you will give it the fine finally after configuration to deploy the contract. Uh, so once you have to wait for the deployation to end, once you click this particular code, so after all of this, I have asked it to put every necessary data, which means on the artifacts, I get like, if you remember on Algorand, I've showed you from two JSON files, the API uh, meters that's of your contract. So you have to face that on your front end. The same principle uh, is 
in every blockchain there's a way how you call it is different and for this case i just told it every every artifact that i need i also want to be put to for it to be on this file you can name it anything uh, just to make uh, my code uh, more clear uh, it doesn't uh, just you can write this configuration is that if you search you can find a lot of ways to configure this uh, code this deploy code there's a lot there's a lot of ways to, to make this configuration it's just one of the ways but the, the end result is the same you need to have this the api artifact artifacts to use it on your front end uh, the other configuration after you finalize this configuration like this the other configuration you have to do is on the hard hat config.js here this is where you uh, put your uh, testnet network which testnet network are you using to deploy the contract so for me i'm using sepolia network getaway there is a mumbai there are a lot of uh, networks uh, whoever gets, gives you a uh, testnet uh, uh, eaters you can use just you have to make sure to put the url of the gateway where you find this gateway to connect with the ethereum blockchain you have two options first before i show you this one this is private key this private key would be my personal account my metamask sepolia account private key where you find this file let's go to the application here yes yes Sign up to my account. So, for example, this is my Cipolia account. Uh, is there a noise uh, that? Uh, so, to find your private key for this account, I have used this particular account to deploy my contract. And if I want to get my private key, all you have to do is go to settings here. Uh, no, not thing. I think uh, this one. Account details. Go to account details. You click show private key. It will ask you to put the password of your MetaMask wallet. Confirm that and reveal my private key. And this is a testnet account. This is my pri my private key for my uh, public key that I should use. So I will make sure to copy this one and go to your dot in file. I'm accessing on hardware config. You use the dot in file. So on dot in, put your private key for the account. So it will sign the deployment through this private key. Uh, that's it. What, what else is there? Okay, and now I'm going to show you how you can find this uh, public, uh, I mean, this gateway URL to connect with uh, Ethereum blockchain through your Cipolia account. Uh, to do this, you have two options, either the Infura provider or the Alchemy provider. This one. These are Alchemy provider and Infura provider. Uh, this two gives you these URLs when it is Ethereum blockchain. If you decided to put it on uh, production, you have the main URL. And if you decided to use Cipolla or Gorilla, Gorilla, right now it has to, they have to have their destiny. You have to have an Ethereum account. So look at that. This has, uh, you can use this one. Or there are different networks of Ethereum. Um, they are different, so you can choose any of them, but you have to make sure uh, the account needs to have a testnet ether. So I think the smart choice would be to use if you are using Infura, just like to do that. Sigolia has a free testnet. Uh, but for this particular project, I have used Alchemy. This is the same, both give the same output. Or uh, Before I told you this one, make sure to sign up on the Infura. Uh, network, if you, the first thing you get is a sign up option. Sign up on their website. Then after you sign up, you will go to your dashboard where you can create any key, new API key. So when you create an API key, give your API key name, give it. 
but it only has one option since I already created one, it will reject me. You have only uh, by the free uh, account, or you only have one, uh, you only have the option to create one key only. So I already have uh, an account that I created before. So uh, let's see this one. And after you came here, click back to endpoints, and you will get an endpoint to connect with your. To put it here and connect it with the provider to connect with the Ethereum blockchain. The Alchemy also have the same way to do this. After you sign up on the Alchemy, also make sure to click the API key part. Not this one. First, this one here. The first when you go to the dashboard under the apps menu, uh, this will be activated. I have. Uh, Reach my minimum maximum limit. That's why it's uh, invisible for me. Uh, Alchemy lets you create five API keys. Uh, you can, if you want to go about that, you have to pay for the upgraded plan. That for you, it will uh, definitely be visible for you to create a new app. And after creating a new app, you will get this keys, the API key, the HTTPS URL to connect with and the website. What we need is this one, HTTPS. Copy that one and put it here. This is exactly what I used the Alchemy one. After this configuration, you're done. What left is just to run this um, particular command. I have put it on the hard drive slide that I shared you yesterday. Uh, you have to uh, make sure to name the particular MetaMask wallet you decide your data wallet you decided. I have used to decide to use Sepolia, so I'm going to say Sepolia. My account is Sepolia account. So just click enter, and if everything is successful, you don't have any error. You'll see, you'll find a successful completion message here. That's it. So since I already deployed the contract, I'm not going to repeat it again. Is there a question? That the carrot. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I was wondering if you if we would use the brownie uh, framework, if that's possible, or should yeah. we stick with this one? You can use brownie. I haven't used brownie before, but you can use it. I have used Truffle in Hard Hat. They have the same similar structure. It just their their command is different. That's the only difference there is. Oh, you right. So, so well, for this project, we are not uh, restricted to this one, right? For the hard rot, we can use the, sorry, the brownie. It's not a requirement to use hard hat. It's just my choice of uh, to do this tutorial. You can use brownie if you want. Whatever works for you. Every framework can deploy a contract okay. for you. OK, thank you. Thank you. So any of them, Brownie, Astrophil, you can use this. Uh, these are the most common, usually, uh, GitHub ways to connect with Ethereum blockchain. So just use it. So the programming language will be different. Does only hard hat use JavaScript? Astrophil use IP TypeScript. But, uh, but it, it doesn't matter. Okay, where was I? So now let's see with uh, what uh, now when you run this one. Since I put on my deploy here, once I deployed, I want I I commanded here to put the data that I get with the ABI, the files that are found on my artifact. I have told it to write it on this particular JSON file, so it created under my React app. And so this is this one. So this is address. These artifacts that have you, I, I'm sure you have Telegram boots on the algorithm, just contain the useful methods that are found on your contract here. So I'm just going to call this particular package JSON on my React app and access every function of my contract. So to do this, to connect this, the ether NPM that I just shared with you before, make sure to install it. Uh, there is also web3.js which do the same functionality as ETHER. Uh, you can, you have also to use, uh, have the option to use that to connect your contract with your front page. I mean, sorry, Web3 
Web3.js. Web3.js, so this is also another uh, library that connects your Ethereum contract with your content. Okay, assuming you have installed it, the first thing that I did would be I created a context. Uh, if for those of you who are familiar with React, uh, use context uh, will be uh, that not new for you. The purpose of use context in React is you can, after you create your contra contract under the context file, under the context method, you can call it in every component the function so it like it's like the props but in a better way and you can just access it everywhere in your component so i created a context file it says this is a context it's read about it it's a react context file that you every function you put in this context you can share it in every component is save just by calling the file instead of writing each function in each component you will write the functions in one particular file and access it in every component that you can create using the use context uh, method of react so uh, i have just called the eaters package that i called i called this market to json that i just got from my deployment of the contract pianata i have this uh, function in javascript to access my pianata uh, api to access to post uh, to upload a react application i mean an image or anything any file on my react app using the Pianata api like this i'm i'm, I'm gonna upload anything uh, on the and it will return me the metadata url uh, this is just to to the file to ips it's just a, a simple configuration to access my Pianata to fish data and to upload data on my Pianata URL and to make it connect, make the connection with my personal Pianata access, I have get my React Pianata, my Pianata key and my Pianata secret from my Pianata account, which you will get here. Under API key, I have a lot of keys for different software, so I think I have used, I don't know, let's just view this one, so, or, or you can create new one. For if you want, create as an admin so you can have every access you can have it for everything. So if you use it for Algorand, I think it will not be new for you. I think I also reached my maximum limit with this key. So anyway, after you uh, open this one, if you don't have any maximum limit, it will generate you a new API key where we will you have to grab the Pianata, your private key of your Pianata and your secret, your secret and API key. Okay. So just uh, paste it on your root in like this one and access it on your Pianata file. So this key and secret will be the ones that bind my transaction to connect this back and forth with my Pianata dashboard. Okay, so after doing that, uh, this is how I make the connection with uh, my Ethereum to fetch every function that I just put it on my contract. Similar with the with the, that I show you on the algorithm part, you make sure the address of the contract uh, that the, this address, like uh, on the remix, when I deploy the contract, I ha I'll get a contract address right. Like similarly, you have to fetch your address of the contract. Uh, this address is found in this uh, in the market.json. I have pasted it here, this one. So I'm just switching that. Uh, you have to put the ABI file, of, uh, functions, everything in the signer. Uh, the signer will be your personal account, uh, which personal account uh, signing. So you have to sign it to fetch the data. So uh, if everything was perfectly, when you console this transaction contract, you have to see every contract on your console, which I did. If I go to my console, every function that I have used on my contract is just page contract file here. These are 
all the functions that are found in my contract the list price uh, list token for id my nft get my nft everything so if you see these files your functions then you have made the connection now what's left is just to make to display all your nfts to create a new uh image based on uh, the function you just wrote it on your contract so basically what i did here is i do i call um this where was it this connect wallet to make a connection with my time wallet so by configuring it like this when you click this function on a button it will pop the metamask wallet like it did before if you have noticed when i clicked it before uh, since i'm already connected it won't pop pop, pop that but if i have logged out from this account and if i connected it it will pop the metamask and all you have to do is just log in if you log in your address will be fetched like this and you are sure so uh, this is the gallery that i have that i created under this account where is it there uh, this just a uh, simple functionality to just take if the wallet is connected or not. I'm just here checking if the wallet is, uh, 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 is connected with the first account when we create when I connect with the account, change the first account and say that I'm just setting it on the use state functionality free app to fit the current account that's connected with my application. Uh, what is, is here just checking if there is a transaction that's happening. Uh, these are just checking function these are the functions that are listed on my contract to get my all nfts i structured it like this i accessed my contract just calling it uh, the contract objects that i just uh, displayed before this we, this is the function Every time I call this function, it will fetch me every function that is found on the contract. So in every function, I call this function to access any of the functions that are found on my contract. I get that, and I pass the necessary parameters that needed for this NFT to fetch, or NFT that is found under my address, under my public address, and it will display it here. Uh, so uh, again, this is to when I sell, uh, when I decide to sell a new art to my application, I access this upload method to interface where I uploaded my name of the image, description, price of the image that I put it in, URL of the image. Uh, I put it as a metadata on my Pianata and it will display it and return for me a URL, a metadata URL. This is after getting this URL, I pass this URL for my contract, the create token accepts a URL token for all the data of the image. Again, I create the token. This is just, I'm doing the same process that I did on the uh, contract, but for the React way, so, so that you can access, I can put these functions just to create the interface, to make the interface. Uh, okay. So these are just basically my API files that I call the backend in front end. Uh, this is to sell the NFT, or which I, if you remember, this is the execute sale con uh, function that's found on my contract. I fetch it like this and put the necessary data, and it just goes like this. Every Everything. Uh, the iPad displays this file. This is where every gallery that's found is displayed. This one, this particular component is this particular file with this. It displayed every data that I have in it. Image. So, here all I have to do is to fix the context. Just call this one first. I call the file name here like this, then. I call, use this use context functionality of React. When I do it like this, I can fetch every data value that I put it here, I list it here. I'm just passing every what I'm passing the function, this, this, this is to be used in every component. It's just uh, the use case of React. 
so I'm just for, for this particular component I only need these three data from my context file which means they are found here this is here the current account this one the data this one so I just HTC using this context simply to uh, give uh, the responsible or be uh, so this way it's just functional thing connection with the contract means is using text the same thing goes to every file so to display this is to profile where i just display my own and it is only that i own this is a page the component where it displays for you the description of the image and if you can buy it, it will give you the option to buy that particular image uh, or to upload that particular if you have a uh, this one is for uploading any image on the system that you decide to save. So this is a walkthrough of the code, just to see uh, if you can add a new image. So uh, we can add flower image drawn by someone. Ethereum, let's say I have put a 0 0.01 Ethereum, choose an image. Let's see, this is my pin. I want to see. I think an internet connection is better to get a password, so we have to wait until to it. Now save to gallery, which means I am creating a token for this particular image under my ownership. Okay, let's see. It will give me a confirmation of the transaction. I confirm it. Wait for the confirmation to, to come. Until it performs, uh, I guess I can show you how you can uh, upload this. This and it, it are uh, many on your account. To do that, all you have to do is first, okay, my NFC is successfully listed on my blockchain. So I have to see my, this one, it's added. So if someone wants to buy this particular art, they have to uh, change their address here. And first, because you cannot buy your own uh, painting, someone has to buy it. So you can try it by uh, going to another account, and the account can go to this one, create the details, and decide to buy. Just click buy, and again, the MetaMask will pop up. The transaction will end it, and this ownership will transfer it to, to you. So right now, this ownership is found under my account, but once it's so it sold by another one it will be removed from my profile and it will be displayed in that person profile so this is the whole DAP application uh, one last thing to show you would be how you can get a uh, testnet faucets for your account so if you decide to use sepolia for example you can go to uh, this one sepolia uh, just put your address like this you have to log in first i already unlocked it send me ethereum it will give you 0 0.5 Ethereum when you make your post, uh, and you have to wait another 24 hours if you want to another transaction. It's telling me to do, to check if I'm not a robot or not, this one. Let's do that first. Okay. So address here. Okay, this, since this one has another account, let's just create another support account, this one. Let's use this. 
same thing here. So if I go to my account, I'm going to see a 0 0.5 ETH addition to my existing systems. It's added. I don't think this is the first. It added new value to my Ethereum. So if I want to again ask it with the same address in the same day, it will throw an error. You have to request another time or something like that for developers to use the process uh, wisely. We yeah, sorry to be fair to all developers using 0.5 for Ethereum every 24 hours. So I have to again try another tomorrow to get another reason for that. So if you make a lot of testing, this money can easily be uh, you can lose it easily when you're doing testing. So that's, uh, that means that with using Remix, okay, it's changed it. Have more. Okay, this is the work, code walkthrough. Uh, if you have any questions, if it's clear, then. Okay, any questions? Or if you have any questions, I guess. Okay, regarding the job uh, prospect right now, Web3 has lost uh, the job market for junior athletes is a bit low. Uh, I think there was an attack uh, months ago. Uh, there's a company that has a lot of money, and after that, uh, the job market has gone down. So right now, I wouldn't recommend uh, to change your paths on Web3. I mean, it's really an interesting technology. Uh, I'm personally, I'm not uh, going to be out of this Web3 uh, because of this. I, I think it will get back up from people that I talk in different researchers around the world. That are hopeful it will uh, get back up and its connection with AI going to be great also. But it's a new technology and it's testing every, itself everything. There had some crashes that happened uh, even before the thing that happened months ago. Uh, so right now it's down, but it will get back up. Just don't make it your career path right now. Personally, I would advise you that just to get a job. But if you are interested in Web3, definitely do your own page project. Just on the side, and when it, everything is just uh, get back developers so the developers blockchain developers for juniors it's a bit hard for me any other question okay so it's clear meta mask uh, I have showed you before. If you let me share again, I just have to show you again. I don't have MetaMask here. That's why in this particular browser, one remix is here. But if you want to connect your remix with uh, MetaMask, all you have to do is choose this one, Injected Provider. Uh, just mine has a problem, but for you, just choose this one, Injected Provider. When you choose this one and click Deploy, it will pop the MetaMask like I did on, right now on this application. And you can just sign the transaction using your MetaMask wallet, this injected provider. Uh, that's, yeah, it's, I mean, you don't have, I, I don't approve leaving Web3. If you are, if you have the interest in Web3, it's not, uh, it's good for you to know how to do these things. 
because it will get back up. It's not forever. It's just a new technology. It's just regenerating itself. But for now, you are almost finishing up everyone, your training. And uh, for the job market, email, email, the data science AI has much better job applications, job posts than Web3. So uh, just go with the statics and go with the others to get the job. Yeah, yeah, you can continue. Hi, Raymond. Uh, so uh, I think we are going to develop a mobile app and uh, yeah. if we are going to use uh, React Native, will the uh, configuration and all the process, will, will it be the same? Uh, that's one question. And the second one, uh, if we are going to use the Brownie fr framework, uh, are we going to use a Web3 Pi for integrating the blockchain with the web app? Um, can you just explain? Yeah. Things? yeah. Okay. So for the React Native, the, the thing is, you have, it probably will be the same. It's it's going to be the same. The contract deployment will be different. The command that you use when you Try, when you're trying to get the ABI in the contract address after deployment, the way how you do it between hard drive and travel and uh, brownie would be different. And uh, I, using ether dojs, uh, web3 dojs, is possible to use them depending on the React. If you are, if you decide to React framework, both can work with React framework. So for the front end, as long as you have this ABI file and artifacts that you need for connecting with the back, with the front end, uh, there's uh, it's possible. It is it's definitely gonna work using ETHER.js or web 3js If you are using ETHER, or, I mean, if you are using a JavaScript framework like React. Yeah. So I'm okay. not sure if you decide to use Django or others. So if you just, mm. if you decide to do that, I would recommend you to do research because I have never used Brownie before. So on your different framework to build front end. Okay, thank you. Okay, Alex, you can share your screen. Uh, I will share it on the. No, I'm just gonna. This is the coach, Matras. Alexander, you can share your screen if you want. Um, Fanuil, I don't know. I'm gonna talk with Rodas and see if she can upload it. But I will make sure uh, by tomorrow, definitely. By tonight, I'm not sure. Okay, let me let me to share it. I'm sorry to that. Uh, uh, just to ask you uh, a question. How did you try to okay, connect with Okay, okay. Uh, after installing uh, the RDAT and try to uh, get the create an account on Mask, uh, MetaMask, and try copy the private key and put in the in environment variable form. After that. Uh, I compile the to make it, to deploy the contract, and there may be an error. And I try number of times, I can't fix it. That. Which native do you use? Do you use the contract? Which what? For, for example, for me, I have used I have used Polia. Polia. Okay, okay. Me, me, Tamask, me, Tamask. No, I know. No, MetaMask has different networks inside of it. Inside of it, it has okay. Kola, Kola, Kuli, Kuli, arbitrary, arbitrary, a lot of networks. You have to choose one, one on your okay. configuration. 
sorry if I can uh, share it. Okay, maybe just uh, 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 Okay, is it possible? Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. Well, I will. So, uh, is there any other question? Okay, can you just give me some thumbs up to finalize this uh, tutorial? Thank you. I'm going to stop the recording now. So, have a good night.